Uh, about my husband, he is a uh, very supportive, especially to our children. Like, it is a family father, I think. And then sometimes we have a uh, quarrel, but but it's only a uh, maybe there is a trial sometimes, and then we can cope it. Uh, about our relationship, it's really work. Misal mag-away and then ma one every ano mag-away kami isitil na mo and then we will not let the children to hear what we are quarreling. As a salute sa among kami noon sa 50 ka tuig, wala ko'y kasaway sa akong misis. Kay kadaghanan sa among mga hitabo ng mga force may nagkinasinabot, wala ko nagkakuan siya problema. Naalay ginagmay pero manageable kayo ba? Yali kay kuhan dyan nga hantod ng mga kuhan nga wa. So kad po wala dyan may magkaaway. Istorya-istorya lang, pero wala dyan yung anak, kaawain mo may anak, ang magkawain, wala dyan. So ito pa, nakasinabot yung mga yung duha. Sa future namin, we are planning if mo arrive pa mi sa 60 years mag kuna pud ni siguro magpakasalan na pud parang baw <laughs> and then i will gather my children as of now ang ako mga anak they are not complete they are only three yung isa nasa Canada pa gusto namin pagka 60 years mga kuna kami kompleto na here in the Philippines Ang ako lang na maabot pa may sa ikaduhan na po na mong pag-celebrar sa 60 years kuhon kung masugot ang kumutugutan may sa ginoo nga maabot may sa 60 years. Hinawad pa nga ang tanang mga anak na makatambong di hapon. Paningkamutan na to na mahimo nga makaabot pa ta sa ikaduhang celebrasyon sa 60 years. So let's call our names into this tree Then lay beneath the beauty of her leaves. The My husband, Prisco, I love you. We, I love you ever. <laughs> we've had up, we've had down, we've had warm nights, we've gone round and round. What I know, this much is true. Mamang, uh, ayaw yung kalimot nga ikaw mahal ta yung kakayo. Oh, Una-una nga ako magpabilin yung ko sa imong kiliran hangtod sa katapusan. I love you. Don't point to you.
Hello Ate Nita and Kuya Fix. Congratulations sa inyong 50th wedding anniversary. And may God bless you more years to come to celebrate more love and caring. Hello Ate Nita and Kuya Fix. It's, uh, it's my pleasure to be here and attend your 50th wedding anniversary. I traveled a thousand miles from Canada just to witness this special event for you. We are so proud of you and I salute you and I'm gonna cry now, no? <laughs> yeah, so congratulations again. I love you and pray for us everybody to be successful in life just like you. Thank you. Uh, hi, Mom, Dad. Uh, congratulations for this milestone. 50 years. You know, naring kamot mig ulit yun. Sayang wala si Kuya, pero he's here. You know, like, unya ma video na to na siya. Pero we're so happy na sila auntie, ang tanan nakauli na diri. And everybody's here, you know, like close to the family. And yeah, congratulations, mom and dad. You know, we're looking forward for another 10, 20, another 50 years if that if God's allowed, you know. So yeah, we'll see you in the party. Hi, Mapa. Happy golden anniversary. Um, thank you for always being an inspiration to us and for showering us with a lot of love and affection. Um, we are very happy to see that you're happy today. Um, hopefully that. Um, we will have more year you will have more years to to be together to come and um we love you always we'll always be here for you just as um you were always there for us thank you Papa, congratulations. This is it. This is what we've been waiting for. Um, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> it is okay. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, congratulations. Uh, I'm so excited for you. I hope you continue to love each other and support each other. Okay. Um, uh, the tears for joy. Uh, I love you both. Uh, more later. Thank you. It's my turn to fly. It's the girls get in line. Cause I'm easy, no playing this guy like a fool. Now I'm alright. Might have had me caged before, but not tonight And you may not believe mm -hmm. That baby, I'm relieved This fire inside, it burns too It's a beautiful day to send this out And the music's playing And even if it started raining You will hear this boy complaining Cause I'm glad that you're the one who got away mm -hmm. Cause if you ever think I'll take up My time with thinking of our breakup Then you've got another thing coming your way Cause it's a beautiful day mm -hmm. Beautiful day Oh baby, any day that you're gone away It's a beautiful day oh.
gentlemen and once again welcome to Prisco and Juanita Tevez golden anniversary reception program and by the way are you guys excited yes or no energy are you guys excited yes or no yes of course and as what the song says love is the reason why we are celebrating today and we are celebrating again the golden anniversary wedding celebration of our couple not everyone gets to celebrate their 50th anniversary. Tama po ba? Sino ba mga couple dito? Pakitaas po ang mga kamay. Wala po nang nagtaas ang kamay. Ayan dun, nasa likod. Alright. So, are you guys excited? Yes or no? Ayan. Guys, tagyan naman natin ng energy ko. Tila, atok pa kayo. Ayan. Are you ready to start the celebration? Yes or no? Yes. Ayan. Maganda yan. Okay. So, before we start the celebration, let me just introduce myself. My name is Madison Jones Gabayan. It's my privilege to be the master of ceremony as we are celebrating the 50-year anniversary of our couple Prisco and Juanita Tevez. Yes. And now this time, are you guys excited to see the family and our couple? Na ba talaga ayun siya magut? Gutom na ba kayo? Naglunch ba kayo? Joke lang. Ayan. Guys, are you are you ready to start the celebration? Yes or no? Yes. Now, are you excited to see our couple and their family? Yes. Okay. So, wag na nating patagalin pa kasi feeling ko mainit sa nabas. <laughs> Alright. So, this time, ladies and gentlemen, we will have the grand entrance of our family members. So, as the music player, let's give a round of applause to, first, the grandchildren of our couple. We have Maria Isabella Lang and Phoebe Kate Seves. Ayan, palakpakan naman po natin sila. This time, let's give a round of applause for the children of our couple. We have Teresa Tevez Lang. She is the child together with Prisco Tevez Jr. Yeah, and she's the third son of our couple. Of course, we'll take a look at them. Next, we would like to call Erwin Caguia Tevez, the youngest son together. His wife, Mrs. Pamela Tevez. Yan, pakita natin mga dance moves natin dyan. Wow! There you go. Thank you so much. And of course, we would like to call two sisters of our bride. We have Mrs. Cecil Stike and Mrs. Margie Grice. You have to dance as well? While you march here in front. Ayan, asa ni mga dance moves natin dyan? There you go. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, palakpakan naman po family members of our bride and group. Ayan, pagpasigabong palakpakan naman po for them. Who's celebrating their anniversary. Palakpakan natin, Mr. and Mrs. Crystal and Juanita Tevez. Magic's not in every kiss. You're still the one beside me. Yeah, let's give a sound round of applause for our couple. I think it's Frisco and Juanita Tevez. If there's no moonlight in your hair, you've been my friend, my love, in times of hope and near despair. When I look into your eyes. 
Our faith is stronger than the fears If you ask me now If I love you still The way I did before There you have it And you can see, masaya-masaya po yung pahol natin, di ba? Kasi of course, of course, of course, I keep it in your life I love you strong Yes, of course Ayan, mga palakpakan na po natin once again Mr. and Mrs. Crisco and Juanita Seven There you go Hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening to all the gorgeous men and women here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, I am Erwin, the youngest and the cutest uh -huh. of, the, <laughs> of, the, of the four um, children of Nana and Lolopi. So, let's start with the love story. The love story began when um, Dad caught a glimpse of uh, Mom uh, during her other work at Sarmiento. And then, and then, um, because of that, I think mom's just too beautiful. Dad wants, was very determined to get to know mom more. So, and then, double date started, as uh, what mom told me. Double date started, and then later on, it, it grew and grew and grew, and then mom um, eventually sees and realized the good side of dad. So, gave him a chance. And then, here we are. So, fast forward. Their relationship grew, and they created four beautiful children. So we have Aditang, Tito Elmer, he's not here. Our beautiful Prisco, and the cutest one. Hey, of course. <laughs> so, through the years, I have witnessed a real love story. Not just a fairy tale story, but a real love, a real love story. So, a journey that's full of, uh, uh, full of ups and downs. A love that has, that has been tested uh, by a few times and has survived. So, 50 years, imagine that. Wow. So, Ma, Pa, uh, thank you for all the love and dedication that you've given us. Your commitment to each other is an inspiration, not just to me, not just to um, Kuya Atin, but to everybody here. Um, your 50 years of long journey is a shining example of what a marriage and commitment should be. So a love story full of characters that aren't perfect, but genuine and pure. So on this very special occasion of your 50th wedding anniversary, with a heart of deepest gratitude, I give you my honor, appreciation, deep respect, and love. So may God continue to bless your marriage and may we enjoy, may you enjoy your celebration throughout this golden year. We are so proud of you. We love you both deeply. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, we have Mr. Erwin Tevis. Be having, of course, the blessing ceremony. By our officiating minister, we have Brother Bob Abadesco. What a testament of great love and a happy marriage and my heart is so filled with inspiration as I watch the video I'm sure the children and their spouses including the grandchildren are so happy and are so proud of the two of you and uh, I really hope and pray that deep in my heart that we would also together with my wife one of these days reach the point that you are now celebrating what a joyful moment to celebrate a 50th wedding anniversary. And uh, would you agree that uh, to have a long marriage on top of having a long life is a gift from God? Yeah. Would you? Can you please raise your hand if you agree? Yes. yes. It is only by God's grace that we are able to live a meaningful life, a joyful life, a life that is so full of contentment and I'm sure that uh, the marriage of Sir Brisco and Mam Juanita I was planning earlier to call them Tito and Tita but uh, they don't look uh, that senior and so I just decided to 
to now call them uh, Sir Juanito and uh, as Sir Prisco and Ma'am Juanita. No? So I hope you don't mind, especially the children. Yeah, so as I was saying, it is truly by the grace of God and it's truly a gift from God. So truly in the marriage of Sir Prisco and Ma'am Juanita, had they not been blessed by the Lord, their marriage would have ended many years ago because of difficulties and they cannot stand it any longer that the only choice that they have is for them to separate but here the promise of the Lord is that the blessing of the Lord enriches and he adds no sorrow unto it and that is the reason why I believe in my heart that their marriage has lasted the test of time would you agree, especially the children? Thank you for agreeing. You are so agreeable. Yeah. <laughs> this ring, a symbol of your unending love for Vanita. Are you committed to loving, honoring, and cherishing her as you have for the past 50 years? Yeah. Huh? Yes, I do. With all my heart. Okay, so can you continue reading? And as you read, can you insert uh, the ring into her uh, ring finger? Juanita, I give you the ring. Wear it as a symbol of my enduring love and pitfall commitment to you. Yes, palakpak na lang dyan. At saka, pwede may pakapin, Sir Prisco, pwede kiss din. Pwede kiss, pakapin. Ma'am Juanita, sorry. Ma'am Juanita, take this ring. A symbol of your unending love for Sir Prisco. Are you committed to loving, honoring, and cherishing him as you have for the past 50 years? Yes, I do. With all my heart. Can you please now insert the ring? And as you insert it, can you read the vow? I give you this ring where it was symbol of my life, ending, enduring love and people commitment to you. Wow! Malakpak naman dyan! Ma'am, can you reciprocate the kiss that Sir Prisco has given you? Can you also kiss him?
Could you be a teenage idol? Could you be a movie star? You want to be a rock star With blue hat bunnies in your bed mm. Well, remember when you rich That you sold yourself for this You'll be famous cause you're dead So don't go higher For desire Put it in your head Baby, Hollywood is dead You can find it in yourself I don't want to take you dancing Oh, when you're dancing with the world You can flash a caviar in your million dollar car I don't need that kind of girl But could you be the next sensation? Or will you set the latest style? You don't need a catchy song Cause the kids will sing along When you sell it with a smile Hello everyone! So I am the only daughter of our parents. So past tense, because 50 years is quite long, that one of my siblings decided to even the numbers. So there are now two sons, Elmer and Erwin, and two lovely single ladies in the family, me and Crystal. So you must have known that I am now based in Canada. So every time I'm in the Philippines, my name is Teresa, but abroad I'm called Teresa. Yeah. It's like, oh, what? Teresa? <laughs> okay. So you see, as the years go by, my parents have to cope witnessing all sorts of changes among their children. Gender change, name change, and change in domicile. Because all four of us are now living outside the country making our parents back to square one. So, we're na sila mga honeymooners, like without children. They're like newlyweds. As I said, 50 years is fairly long that I can't afford, I don't want to cry, to just offer a toast without paying tribute to my parents. At least for an hour. Ay mo pang ulit, hindi mo kamot 50. Looking back, I feel so nostalgic about everything because 50 years is not a joke. Many people don't reach that age. Thankful that you are together, supporting each other, carrying on as best friends. Sometimes frenemies, but at least you're both together. My parents' love story is not about love, patience, loyalty, joy, or success. Trust me, I was there. But despite the many hitches and setbacks, the painful decisions and changes, despite all the away, tampuhan, and everything, our struggles as a family was real too. But it's all part of the parcel of a beautiful, beautiful story that made us all together stronger, tighter, and happier as a family. And I consider that as God's most beautiful blessing. Ma and Pa, I want to say that uh, you bring pride to our family. All these years, you inspired all of us, your children and now your beautiful granddaughters, though we are still in a work in progress. But your hard work, persistence, and commitment became our strength individually and collectively as we endeavor to become better persons. So ayodyo mo pag sawa ha, karon pa. We still have to celebrate 60, 70, and so on, right? Sige na kay, gutom na. So let us go to the part that I'm tasked to do. May I request everyone to grab a glass and please stand. Thank you. Alright everyone, glass here. Just grab a glass, any glass will do. For you, Mama and Papa, for 50 years, you have succeeded and won every challenge. You have walked the crossroads and built bridges, filled gaps, and made a difference. You came out better, more beautiful, and stronger. With all my heart, I wish you true, 
overflowing and continuous laughter, romance, meaningful songs and dances while you, you hold each other's heart. Thank you for being the best parents to us. I know you are very happy of what we all became. Your grandchildren are also lucky to have you. And so from this day onward, may God continue to bless your marriage with joy, good health, long life, and lasting love. Papa and Mama, here's a cheers to forever. We love you so much.
and wonderful event of our beloved Pico and Happy Lisa. Where are they? Happy and blessed golden wedding anniversary to both of you. As I recall, 49 years ago, I think I was in fourth year high school and had a conversation with our parents. And I was just in the corner listening to their conversation. Afinita told our parents that they are going to get married. She promised our parents that she would help us in our schooling. Then my tears start rolling down on my face without stopping. I felt happy and sad at the same time. I feel sad, oh, I felt happy because Atinita is going to get married with a wonderful man, Kuya Kit. And I feel sad. Oh. I feel sad because Atinita wouldn't be spending time with us anymore. Atinita took care of me, Rose, and Sayo when we were little kids while our parents are busy with their business in Pangasinan. For a few years during my college, I stayed with Atinita and Kuya Pete's home. They helped me with my tuition and other expenses. I remember that every day, Atinita always sit aside our me, Rose, Nini, and Dita are pamasahi. And our tuition on every tuition rate. It was all, always ready. You know, we couldn't escape school because Atinita will hand us our pamasahi every day. While Kuya Pitts was always there helping us too. He always had a smile on his face. Never argue, never judge, and never comment, and no judgment. He just had a smile. Very peaceful. Thank you both for helping and your kindness you give to us. After I graduated college, I went abroad. I helped my two sisters, Ati Marks and Rose, to follow in my footsteps. After so many years, after so many years had passed, Teresa told us that she wanted to come to Canada. We were so excited, very happy, and very willing to help her. Happy March found an agency right away. And we were very thankful and very happy that everything went well and that Teresa 
made it to Canada. Then Teresa and her brother, oh, Teresa helped her brothers to get into Canada. Then Teresa and Junjun help their parents fulfill their biggest dream in life to come true, to see Canada. I concluded that helping and giving is the most precious act that you can do to others. I learned this lesson from our mother. She had no college degree because she chose to help her siblings to go to school. Again, thank you. Love you. precious time to be with with us to celebrate this wonderful 50th wedding anniversary of our beloved sister Juanita and her beloved sweetheart press engineer Presco Tevez Senior. Ladies and gentlemen, love is stand fountain pen, read him an examen! Okay, by the way, I'm Margie Donato Kagiwa Grice. I'm sixth child from the family. I traveled thousand miles from Canada to attend this prestigious and wonderful celebration of our amazing Atinita and Kuya Pikong anniversary. <laughs> Me and our whole family congratulate you and salute you for reaching this golden wedding anniversary. Yeah. I was right to Atinita. I was begging her to help me how I can be with them. We are in high school that time because they immigrated here in Davao from Pangasinan. The whole family, except me, living to my Lola. So Cecil is the first to go, and second, our sister Rose, and Cecil is the one who paid for Rose to, for agency. And we the last, I, I am the one last, because I'm working there in Digos that time. We both graduated as a chemical engineer, but after two years, can't find a job here. So my sister Cecil, see in the newspaper, for wanted DH for Hong Kong. So this is our stepping stone. Three of us been in Hong Kong, then finally here in Canada. But unfortunately, our mom died when she knew that we are together in Canada. So we feel so sad because it's about to repay our mom, but she's gone. But I can't even come back. But I can't even come back to see her last time because I have no papers yet. So only Cecil come back. She is citizen already. But before I go in Canada from Hong Kong, I come to visit her too. And we did it. I come and visit her too. And we did it. We did, and we did get our dad with my other sister, Connie, as immigrant right away. Thanks God for everything we've been through successfully. It's Margie Grace. Now this time, ladies and gentlemen, we've already heard coming from the side of the bride. This time we will be hearing a message coming from the groom's sister. So we would like to call Miss 
Mrs. Edita Lahoy Lahoy to please stay in front, of course. Mayong gabi sa inyong tanan. O karoon atong gisilugrit ang 50 years wedding anniversary ni La Prisco and Juanita. In behalf of TV's family, congrats and thank you for everything. God bless you and more blessings to your family. Salamat! Yeah! Prisco Chavez Jr. So I want to start in behalf of my family. Nagapasalamat ko sa inyo tanan for blessing us with your presence and your time, and decided to share it with us as we celebrate our parents' 50th wedding anniversary. Nakan salamat. I would like to introduce myself. Ako di ay si Prisco Jr. or Junjun, third child or second daughter. I am single. Looking and willing, and also residing in Canada. But I would like to correct my sister because she said it's gender change. It's not. I did not. Yeah. I didn't do any gender change, just sexual preference. So at first, nabalak ako in doing this speech uh, because I was asked to do an inspirational love speech. Then sa kung isip, I need to do a speech. Kung unsang sekreto to a long-lasting relationship or marriage. Mura gula ko yung pag-ugot because ambot nga no, wala ko yung swerte sa lamlag. Puro na mangguko ikat-igat. Gwa mo mangguko. Halinan pa yung kayo ko. Don't get me wrong. I tried, but nothing really, uh, nothing really lasted. So everything seems fast. Being gay, my relationship world is something different. So I ko on how I can make this speech work. Then I realized perhaps one of the reasons why I am seamlessly blessed is because I see a relationship standard that I grew up with that is through my parents. Uh, I unconsciously compare of what a relationship should be. Uh, mom and dad's relationship is real. In my opinion, almost close to perfection. Balance uh, siya. It is resilient with a very solid ground. It keeps standing uh, despite the enormous challenges it went through. Uh, they took their vows you know, from sickness and health for Richard Prover, uh, hold true to their hearts. I am hoping that we all see a lesson here. Makatunta. This is just not a gathering but a celebration of all of us being brought together to the years in witness of our parents, our family's maturity, uh, and love. So I guess all I want to say is, there's actually no perfect relationship, and there will never be. There are only people who are perfect for each other, and that's how I see mom and dad. They saw each other, they're perfect for each other, and they'll hold on to it. So, nagkang salamat sa inyong tanan. Dabihin na, napay pagkaon, pangaon pa mo. Thank you. Alright, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause. So you are Sir Prisco Tavis Jr. Yeah. This time, ladies and gentlemen, we will be hearing another message coming from the eldest grandchild of our couple. So let's give it up. Let's give a round of applause for Maria Isabella. Last. Coming. You all look so lovely this evening, especially you, Nana. My name is Maria, and I'm the first grandchild and of the bride and groom today, and I think I'm the favorite grandchild. <laughs> I would like to talk to about everybody's favorite power couple, my Nana and Lolo, Nita and Prisco. Nana and Lolo go together like salt and pepper, which, by the way, I think would be a really good Halloween costume. <laughs> One thing about even a blind person could notice is how close they are. When you see Nana, Lolo is often not too far behind. That reminds me of a lyric from the song Summertime Sadness by Lana Del Rey. I think I'll miss you forever, like the stars miss the sun in the morning sky. It seems like something that they think when they are apart. When they're together, they make sure to make each other laugh, keep each other fed, to annoy each other, and overall to take care of each other. They've also had many memorable moments, especially during their adventures in Canada. One time when they were staying with us, they decided to go on a walk on a snowy day, but the sidewalk turned popsicle. While they were walking, Nana slipped on the ice like in an action movie. 
When Lou tried to help Nana up, his feet came out from under him, and he fell in slow motion beside Nana. <laughs> After struggling to stand up like toddlers, taking their first steps, a concerned couple walking by somehow managed to help them up without falling, and they shared a deep belly laugh about it. <laughs> they exchanged mutual nods of respect and continued on their walk as if nothing happened. Another thing I love about our grandparents is their house. It's the main thing I look forward to whenever we visit the Philippines. The feeling about walking through those doors is like you're in a dream. I always like to think of it as our family museum because it holds all the memories of their adventures. I also wanted to say thanks for teaching me some words in Tagalog and Messiah. Some of my favorites are Kili Kili and Basura. <laughs> but basically what I'm trying to say is that Nana and Lolo are the goals that everyone should strive to achieve. As children, parents, grandparents, and friends, they know how to do it right. And everyone in this hotel genuinely loves you guys so much. Thank you for sharing your awesomeness with us. Thanks for listening. Salamat po. All right, there you go. Thank you so much. And that was the eldest grandchild of our couple. We have Maria Isabella Land. This time to give another message, we have yeah, the daughter-in-law, Mrs. Pamela Tevez, together with the grandchild, Phoebe Kate Tevez, and, of course, one of the sons of our couple, we have Mr. Erwin Tevez. Um, good evening, everyone, and thank you all for your presence in celebrating this wonderful um, event with us. Um, actually, me and Kate had our own speeches, so just bear with us, because we didn't know that it's going to be like a family thing but I'm just here for moral support so. <laughs> but I'll make it quick and short so um, I'm Pamela and I'm one of um, Mama Nita and Lolo Pig's favorite favorite wow. <laughs> um, favorite daughter-in-law Charlan <laughs> um, one of the best part of being um, a daughter-in-law um, is to be accepted by them and loved by them unconditionally. I could easily say that with my 15 years of marriage with Erwin, the youngest, um, I never had a clash with, with Mama Nita or Papa Picong. They've always been supportive and very respectful of my decision when it comes to my family. So I'm so blessed with that. Never kami nag away or never yeah, always, always they've been supportive of me. So I'm very lucky with that. Um, thank you, Mama, Nita, and Papa Peaks for your love story and inspiration. Um, 50 years is a very long and a very hard journey for you to end up in that, you know, um, uh, in that kind of years of marriage. So, um, Thank you so much for being wonderful second parents to me, and I pray to God that they will continue to give, um, that He will continue to give you good health, and that you'll be able to spend more wonderful years with us because your leadership and your guidance in our family is really a blessing to all of us. So, Mapa, we love you, and um, thank you so much for letting us know that. Because of your love story, na day forever. <laughs> so thank you. Good evening, everybody. Thank you all for coming. My name is Phoebe Kate Tavas, and I am one of Nita and Prisco's grandchildren, whom I will be referring to as Nana and Lolo. My favorite memory of Nana and Lolo was the renewal of vows they had a few years ago. They were so giddy as if they had just gotten married. Their smiles spread across the family, and their laughter radiated a warmth I can only call home, our safe haven. It made me really reminisce about the past and how they have taken care of not only me, but everyone around them. Nana and Lolo have always been compassionate, loving, and cheerful people. Their relationship together is like a bond that cannot be separated. They are two puzzle pieces that fit perfectly with each other. Nana and Lolo, I am proud to be part of your family tree. I am forever grateful to be part of this chapter in your lives. Thank you, Nana and Lolo, for all the hard work and effort you put into your family and relationship. Congratulations on your golden year. We love you so much. Thank you. <laughs>
All right, there you have it. Uh, this side, we would like to hear a message coming from? The answer, Erin. Right? Oh. <laughs> I thought it was just moral support, but anyway. Um, wait, that's wrong. Um, well, I'm not really prepared, but all I want to say is that um, Tanan Takalon I think when we were invited, we were not really forced, but gusto kita mo atin, kay tungod, nagitay appreciation of makita nato ang ang kamaayo sa sa pagkatao nila mama o papa. So, um, I just want to say thank you for everyone who actually are here, who attended, um, in celebrating us, uh, celebrating with us with this um, wonderful occasion. Uh, Mata, thank you for everything. Um, you've never really left us. You've always guided us on how we should live our lives, and na appreciate you naman siya. Thank you for that. We love you. It's coming from our coordinators to please assist and our uh, couple so that they can also watch the video message. so thankful that you guys have reached this far 50 years of being together dilita na nga couple blessed to reach this far so you guys are so lucky to uh, be able to celebrate 50 years of togetherness and we are so thankful to have you guys and uh, thank you for treating me as one of your own and salamat sa pag-alaga kang ishi dahil na katong napamudiri sa pag Hatod sa iya o pagsundo from the bus stop and pagkuk sa mga og mga delicious food and all the little things in between. Salamat sa pagtabang o pagsupport all the way. And um, we always pray nga tagal pa mo og many more years of being together para you will continue to become a blessing to many. And Nana Lolo, our Papa and Mama, thank you for all the support you have given to us and our family for our decisions to go in Canada. I know it's a tough uh, choice and a tough decision for you to also let, uh, letting us go in, uh, uh, in pursuing our dreams here in Canada. Thank you, Papa Mama, for being a very uh, supportive uh, mom and to Lolo for being a humble dad. Thank you for all the good traits that you have shown to us. Always remember that you are a role model and we always look after you. Your good traits is always uh, our traits on how we uh, treat our kids and the family. Salamat sa Tanana Tabang, especially for Ishi for looking after uh, her when uh, we're still working or even way back in the Philippines uh, for looking after Ishi. You're always there to support without any hesitation. Thank you, Nana and Lolo. And always remember that you're still young and strong. So enjoy your life. Congrats on, uh, fifth, on your fifth year anniversary. That's longer than I live. Uh -huh. uh, and Lolo, thank you for picking me up from the bus. And Nana, thank you for cooking like all the food. And, and thank you for all your guys' help and Congrats on your first anniversary. Yeah, congratulations, Mama and Papa. Congrats. We love you. We miss you. See you soon. See you soon. See you. All right, there you have it. That was a video message coming from Elmer and her daughter-in-law, Connie Francis, together with Ishi. And and this time, ladies and gentlemen, of course, ayan, the night would not be complete without hearing a thank you message. Kaya bigyan yung tanan. Oh, dako ang mong pasalamat. Aniya kita tanan karon nga nagtapok para pag-attend sa among ika-50 years anniversary. Oh, dako po ang mong pasalamat nga bisag unsa kalayo sa akong nga anak nang muli jud sila para pag-celebrate sa among ika-50 years anniversary. Ang among kinamugulangan si Teresa o iyang anak nga akong pinanggang apo, Maria Ok, ang among junior na si GR na abot po sila diri gikan sa Canada. Kunya ni apod ang among kinamanghuran na si Erl Erwin ok ang asawa nga si Pam ok ang anak nga si Pibikate nga apo pinanggang apo. 
naabot po sila gikan sa Australia. O, dako kayo pasalamat sa atong tanan nga mahimo. Ana pa isa nalimtan nako akato nang istorya karon diri nga si Elmer o si iyang asawa nga si Kuni o ang akong apupod nga si Isi nga to apas Canada wala ka uban kay dana gamay pang problema pero ihangyol na nato sa Ginoo nga mahimo sa sunod namong selebrasyon ika 60 years na anniversary namo makaadi na ang tanan namo mga anak o Kita dia pun tanan, kita tu dia pun tanan, kita dia pun tanan. Ia diri. Oh, ayo nang. Oh, ni apa ni kalimat ko? Ang aku ngabayau ngasih Cecil gikan pas Amerika ning abot yun sila diri para pagkatin sa mga celebration niya pun. O si Adi, na abot niya pun, gikan pun sa Canada, na abot niya pun sa celebration ng mga birthday anniversary. O, bago kong malimot, ang ato pa rin mga kaubanan, na Adi rin tanan, garoon, sa Minto, taga-ilang, ni Adam, ni Nana, kung may isigun, tanong nga pa, katus ka na gan. O, niya pa yun ang akong grupo, na di una ko ni Malimtan, Sila si Engineer Rodby Binigno o si Romy Catalonia sa akong mga nanggang grupo o akong parilito dublan o tangtanan. Masala po daw, ako din ni Sakaran. I just want to listen to me. My family, my daughter, my son, my granddaughter. Dan my special guest, Mr. Dublan, is our boss in Sarmiento before, and now he is the developer and owner, founder, and then Justice Loida. I'm thinking, thank you so much. Without you, we cannot go to Canada because. They are the one of Bantay Samung Malay while we are about Bibot. Bibot is not here anymore. Our Bibot is basically to Bibot. She are not among business that is a Ilang without her. He could be Makalarka. And I'm a Pomari, see, Pompari, see, Romy, see, see. Aya, ang aku, ang ninang ni Elmer sa bunyag ang kasal. Thank you so much. Ang aku mga best friend, friendship, forever since we are single. Shirley, Karin, Warlita. And then, about lobbies, it's not... Oh. Thank you. Actually, our anniversary last January, and then we celebrated here because we meet our our children, our our sister. That's why we celebrate. And thank you so much for coming. Oh, thank you so much for coming. na nakatambong po ng akong mga eksoon sila si Ernie si Abdik si Dita o ang bana si Ting Ting o ang akong pag-umangkon na sa kanan din karoon